Hello everybody, my name is Antonio Herrera and I'll be presenting my final project. Uh, this, this project is called the Salesforce Opportunity Management App for Android. Let me go ahead and open up the application. Okay, uh, so when the user first downloads the application, um, they're going to have to go to the OAuth, you know, authentication dance, and uh, enter their Salesforce credentials. Uh, this is assuming they have an actual existing Salesforce.com instance. So I'll go ahead and enter mine. And by instance, I mean an actual Salesforce.com uh, database. And the Salesforce login screen is going to ask the user if, um, if this app can access their basic information, access and manage uh, their data, and perform requests on their behalf at any time. I'll go ahead and click allow. Okay, and what we have here is we have um, I've uh, created some screens to truly allow the users to, uh, to to manage their opportunities within their Salesforce database. And uh, to give you a little bit of background, opportunities are pending uh, sales deals that the sales rep will be um, will be nurturing and you know uh, trying to take an opportunity from uh, a pending sale to an actual closed one sale um, and this app will hopefully allow that that transition to go a little bit smoother um, it, it'll allow the sales reps to take these these engagements these these pending sales that they have in their CRM with them wherever they go um, if they're traveling or if they're at home, they'll uh, have the uh, they'll have a, a, an easy method for updating and and managing their their opportunities. Um, I'll give you uh, some background on these these uh, icons here. So accounts are the um, it's accounts are essentially company information um, that's stored within Salesforce.com, and opportunities, of course, are the or the uh, Salesforce opportunities and I have an icon here uh, which would allow the sales rep to create a brand new opportunity if they, um, if they so happen to be out in the field and they come across a potential customer and they've spoken with that customer that customer has uh, that potential customer has shown some kind of interest in the product they can go ahead and create a brand new opportunity and standings is a feature that I created, uh, which would allow the rep to see, you know, their their current standings and uh, the stages that their opportunities are within, are in, in their org. Uh, and by stages, I mean as a sales rep, um, you know, kicks off an opportunity, and before it's finally closed and won, it goes through a series of stages. Um, and these stages uh, are labels, which uh, signify some kind of percentage to, from zero percent to one hundred percent. So the standings are, is kind of a graph to, uh, that represents those those stages from zero percent to one hundred percent. And contacts are contacts stored within the CRM. Um, this icon here, uh, this feature allows the rep to quickly get information for contacts that they have stored within their database and notes they can attach they can create a note uh, within this application and attach it to an opportunity so if they have an update on an opportunity maybe they've had a phone call or they've received an email they can go ahead and uh, just attach a quick note to that opportunity um, and you know kind of keep their information up to date and does a Bradstreet uh, this is a new feature I Incorporated in this in this last course, uh, it, it allows it. It kind of gives this app a leg up within the uh, within the market. And um, I've been working a little bit with uh, Duns and Bradstreet at work, my day job. So I've 
decided to incorporate it in this app in uh, Dungeon and Bradstreet. Essentially, it's um, Hoover's. It has all the uh, a lot of company company information uh, for companies across you know throughout the world. And in addition to information on the company, it has information on uh, key personnel within those companies. So this feature within the app will allow the sales rep to um, search for a company or search for a an employee and uh, take the information pulled from Duns of Bradstreet and save it to their CRM. Uh, so I'll go ahead and um, start up top of the accounts and essentially uh, it just uh, when you click on the icon it it pulls up a list uh, represented in a custom list view of all the accounts within the Salesforce database and here you have the name of the accounts then below it you have the industry and total account value within the org and these are all the value is or all the sales that have been won um, uh, for this uh, not just the sales rep but the, the company that the sales rep is representing Going, rather than clicking on the uh, create new opportunity icon that's on the home screen you can find yourself an account to attach a brand new opportunity to and clicking on the opportunities icon uh, this is essentially the same kind of list view uh, but the information is a little bit different this is this is opportunity information um, up top you have the name of the opportunity Below it is the name of the account, or the parent company that the opportunity is tied to, and the specific value of this opportunity. Clicking on one of these lists in this list view will take you to the opportunity to make some quick changes to. And of course, create opportunity is just kind of um, a way of jumping straight to a form for creating that opportunity and um, similar to the way you can with the accounts uh, form you can select an account from a drop down menu here um, that's not the best way of doing it of course you know there's going to be a lot more accounts than what I have in that uh, little spinner so uh, that's uh, I guess that's a flaw within this application the idea the ideal way uh, that you would handle that is Clicking, you know, to select, to, to allow the user to select an account, you would want them to, uh, I guess, jump to another screen, another list view, which would allow for uh, a complete list of all accounts within the organization, and then some kind of quick search function to really expedite the process uh, of the sales rep finding an account to attach this opportunity to. And so. Uh, here, this other spinner is. These are the stages in which the the uh, the opportunities kind of uh, you know their life span stages uh, from prospecting all the way to close one or close lost, depending on whether the opportunity is won or lost. Uh, so, if you want to kick off a brand new opportunity, the likely the first stage is going to be prospecting. Let me go ahead and create a note and attach it to a record. So let's say note subject is Sunday notes. We've got a call from Bill. He would like to talk on Monday. Duns and Bradstreet. The thing about uh, the Duns and Bradstreet is it does require a separate login and it does require that the sales rep has a uh, an account set up with Duns and Bradstreet because Duns and Bradstreet does charge for the results uh, pulled back from their database. Uh, so if, if the sales rep wants to look up some information and they want to get some uh, you know some some information about uh, key personnel within an organization that they're working with. Um, they're going to be charged uh, probably about forty cents per result. They um, that they 
you know, that they've selected from the results set, pulled back from Duns of Bradstreet. Um, and it, it's, I'll, I still have to find, you know, I still have to come up with a message communicating that to the users of this app, but I think it's well worth it. It does give a unique feature to this, um, to this app, and it gives a lot of power to the, uh, to the sales rep that they wouldn't otherwise have with any other apps in the market. Um, the cool thing about this is it does allow the rep to not only pull that information from Duns & Bradstreet, but save it once they find it into their Salesforce CRM with a uh, little hassle. So I'll go ahead and log into my Duns & Bradstreet uh, sandbox account. Okay, uh, you can either search by uh, company name or person name, and uh, you do want to uh, put a limit on your search results because there can be uh, from one to twenty or thirty, and if you're pretty confident in the kind of information that you're entering um, and you know the information that you should get back, you, you would you probably should just limit the you know limit the results set that you're going to get back from Duns of Bradstreet to uh, from to one or or at least a few. So let me go ahead and enter a search here. I will limit this to one. And here you have Jeff Bezels who works at Amazon.com. So this is the uh, the person that I looked up. This is that person's organization and the address of the organization. And this icon here, this plus icon, indicates that the user would like to save this uh, result to their, uh, to their CRM. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it takes them to another form where the information is already um, uh, defaulted on their form. And all they have to do is click save and now it's stored within our CRM. Um, one more thing I did want to mention about this application is I did incorporate um, Google Analytics. Okay, so we'll go back into the app, we'll click around a little bit, and then we'll find those, uh, those click-throughs within Google Analytics. Just like the teacher taught us. my credentials for Duns and Bradstreet. Let's see, and perform a search for Jeff Bezels. Limit it to one. And now I'm Essentially, just did that with the app, just so we can find the navigations I've made and the click-throughs I've made uh, throughout the activities uh, within the Android application here on Google Analytics. So let me see. Uh, this is him, right? This is them, right here. These are the um, the activities that I've attached. Um, I, I forget what they're called, but the I've attached the trackers too. So on the activities uh, within my application, I've attached trackers, so I can have some insight into uh, you know what the user of the application is doing and what what they feel um, is really useful in the application. So essentially, what I'm looking for is how they're finding their opportunities, how they're mostly going about managing those opportunities, and whether or not Duns and Bradstreet whether or not that feature is is actually useful to them because I'm curious how many uh, people would actually find this useful and, and the only way that we find it useful is if A they knew what Duns and Bradstreet was and B they had an existing account with that organization so that's it I just want to uh, I just wanted to mention uh, Google Analytics and how it is incorporated into this application